Now, one of the most keenly debated questions in Uttar Pradesh elections is who will garner the greater support of Muslims, the SP Congress Alliance or the BSP. But this time there is an X factor, a Saudin Oasis MIM party, which is fighting all 403 seats in Uttar Pradesh despite the lack of a political base for support. Rathika Bodia reports from the one seat in Uttar Pradesh where the OAC factor may come into play. At a Barad Ghar well past midnight, crowds fall over themselves to see Shafiq or Rahman Barq, Sambhal's political war horse. At 86, Barq is fielding his grandson Zia or Rahman on Oasis MIM ticket, a party for the first time contesting all 403 seats in Uttar Pradesh. If the MIM has any chance in Uttar Pradesh, it's here in Sambhal, but it has very little to do with the party, more to do with this man. A four-time MP, Barq left the Samajwadi party for the BSP, returned to the SP to contest the 2014 Lok Sabha elections, which he says he lost by the smallest margin due to his own party member, Iqbal Mahmood, the current SP candidate from Sambal. हमारे उनका जो है छत्तीसगढ़ आंकड़ा पहले से शुरू से ही है ये समाजवादी पार्टी का गढ़ है यहाँ मुलायम सिंह यादव जी यहाँ प्रोफेसर रामगोपाल यादव जी यहाँ से एमपी रहे हैं और यहाँ के लोग जो हैं बेसिकली समाजवादी हैं a split in the Muslim vote between the SP, the MIM and the BSP as Mayawati has also fielded a Muslim candidate, Rafatullah Chedi, gives BJP the rare hope that its candidate, a respected doctor, Arvind Gupta, could win a Muslim-dominated seat. But with a 65% Muslim electorate, Sambhal's politics is about competing Muslim candidates, each vying to be seen as the voice of the community. Park is an old master of this. The MIM is riding on voices like these. Oasis' own radical rhetoric is also drawing huge crowds, especially the youth. These are the images from Oasis' rally on February 9th, following on its heel Akhilesh's rally on February 10th, making it clear that the battle for Sambal, which polls on February 15th, is going to get fiercer. In Sambal with Pooja Arya, Radhika Bodia for NDTV.